What's up, guys? Jay? Morning after kill! And I'm back here on Borderlands 1! Game of the Year Edition! Enhanced! On PS4! Because the memory leak still exists in 2024 on Steam! <laughs> and yesterday, I uploaded a video titled Finishing What Killer 6 Couldn't in which I showed live footage of me completing Moxie's Underdome 20 round solo with Roland. 100% legit on console without any mods. There you go, all right, let's see if I can jump. I can't, I can jump and fight for my life. That's crazy, dude. I didn't know that was a thing with this mod. And I was told that Killer6 actually factually did finish the Underdome. And while I am aware that his Steam account has all the achievements and challenges unlocked, I can assure you that Schiller 6 himself did not finish the Underdome. And that he's lying to you once again to protect his image. And today, I'm gonna point out all the inconsistencies in his story and let you decide for yourselves. So, first off, Schiller6 wants you to believe that my callout video had nothing to do with him going back to finishing the Underdome challenges. And while I'll give you that his first two completions were unlocked before I called him out, his final completion wasn't until 1 in the morning on April 9th, seven hours after my Killer 6 Roland comes up short, Vigia went live. <laughs> if we add up his total completion time of 18 hours and divide that by three, he's averaging six hours per Underdome challenge. Meaning that as soon as my video went live at 6 p.m. on April 9th, he watched it, felt some type of way about it, and proceeded to just plow through this content himself. <clears throat> content that he struggled to complete on stream, even when he had help. <clears throat> but he wants you to believe that my callout video had nothing to do with him going back to finishing these challenges. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. He said that he was watching NCAA college basketball while doing these challenges. Plus, I was watching the, uh, the NCAA men's and women's college basketball tournaments. But looking at the NCAA March Madness schedule, there were no games being played on March 27th or April 9th, men's or women's. So his story about having to mute the games during rounds 18, 19, and 20. Now, when it came down to like rounds 18, 19, and 20, I usually would uh, mute the basketball game and just try to focus on these guys, but. Is dubious at best, as there was only one day basketball was on during his completions. And considering that he said each round took him around 20 to 30 minutes to complete these higher rounds. For each of the round 20s, just that round by itself was around 20 to 30 minutes. With an average of six hour completion time per challenge, it doesn't sound like he had to repeat these rounds very often for the higher levels either. With my own personal Hell Burbia challenge taking five hours to complete, only having to redo 
rounds about six times. His average completion time leaves room for around six to eight deaths. Less when you consider that he would take these rounds slower. And you hide like a bitch and you shoot things from long range. So we've already established that he's lied at least once and stretched the truth at best another time with this bitch here. When we look at his gameplay off stream and we compare it to his gameplay on stream, it's, it's a night and day difference. When we see him playing off stream, he's hitting crazy jump shots with his Orion, strafe jumping across the map with his Hellfire. But looking at his movement on stream, it's stiff and his aim is awful. But the biggest tell for me is at the end here when he's celebrating. Melee in the air like I do when I complete high level content. <laughs> Whoever is playing here is doing so on mouse and keyboard. As a gamer who flips back and forth between keyboard and mouse and controller, the melee speed on controller is much more rhythmic and in line with what we see from Schiller 6 at the end of his Cromerax ledge cheese, where you can see him struggle to even hit Crawl's crit spots while he's standing still. <clears throat> However, when he's celebrating in the angelic ruins, his melee speed is a lot faster and very indicative of somebody playing on a mechanical keyboard. <clears throat> it's of my opinion that he either had somebody log into his account offline and record this gameplay for him, or he sat his son down and had him play for him offline to help him save face in the community after embarrassing himself on not only giving up his 100% rolling completion. Bum rushed by badasses and I, I couldn't imagine repeating this again. I'm sorry that I didn't get all these achievements done on this. It sucks. I really wanted to get it done, but my apologies to you guys. Screw the Underdome. But also giving up on his ultimate Salvador playthrough when he failed to pimper hab his way through the OP levels. Did enjoy this playthrough. I enjoyed it until we started doing OP levels. <laughs> I think from now on, I'm just going to completely dodge OP levels. It's just not a fun time for me. It's the same reason that he's lied and covered up everything that I've called him out for over the last past few years. Because he cares about his image above everything else. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and really thumb up on the video. I highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. I I I've said it many and plenty of times. These content creators have lied and manipulated the community over the last five years putting their own financial and social gain ahead of the good of the franchise in order to gain goodwill with Gearbox, policing the community of any negativity to cultivate an image that their games are better than they actually are. The same way that you can see Schiller 6 here lying and manipulating the community in an attempt to make himself look better than he actually is. It's like I said before. Keep an eye out for the same repeated actions and patterns of behavior from the pillars of the Shillers heading into Borderlands 4's development and release cycle. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. 
down below. My name is Jay, born after kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.